Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it is a Tuesday. You regulars know what that means. 50-50 chance we're getting free Unreal Engine stuff, and that is the case today. We got a couple of free assets from Epic Games for Unreal Engine. Uh, we're also going to take a look at how one of these can be exported out and used in the Godot game engine. On top of that, we have a couple of other Unreal Engine stories as well. The first of those stories is actually what you see in front of you in action. This is from a new Unreal Engine bundle that is available. I will actually show you a little bit more details of this bundle in just a second, but there is a new bundle. The key thing is use the code S60 or SN60 at checkout and it knocks the price way down. But back to the day's freebie. So the way this works is you've got two weeks to pick these up off the Fab Marketplace. You do so, they are yours to keep forever. This is one of this week's assets. It is, well, it's a train. Very straightforward. Uh, also got some uh, box containers for the train, various different train cars, some oil tankers, and then we have an engine over here. Now, I mentioned earlier on, you can get these things out and running in other game engines, such as Godot. Yep, this is the exact same train level uh, exported out to work in Godot. Um, the cool thing is I use a commercial plugin called Unreal to Godot. Details of how to export out from Unreal Engine to other game engines is available in the documents down below. But this just kind of goes to show you, you definitely want to be hoarding these free fab assets, even if you are not an Unreal Engine user, because as you can see, they look pretty damned cool uh, in other game engines as well, especially if you are in the market for train stuff. And here you see lots and lots and lots of train stuff. So uh, we are in Godot, but of course this came from Unreal. So this is one of uh, this week's free assets. Again, you've got two weeks to buy these completely free. Once purchased on Fab, they are yours to keep forever. All right, let's move on to the next asset. And here we are. This is the Stylized Village Fat Pack. Um, so again, slightly more um, stylized look to it. I don't think there are, oh, there's sort of interiors. Uh, this is actually an impossible building because, oh, no, there's an entrance. All right, I take that back. Uh, so we got like, this waterfall area going on. Let me just turn off all of the, the distractions here. We got this nice little windmill here in the background. Uh, we've got, uh, again, I think this was, was this a water wheel? No, that one's a water wheel over there. This one here is got a, an animated waterfall as well. Um, and yeah, pretty much everything you see here. I don't think it gets that much different. You, again, you do have this uh, windmill up here as well uh and no interior for that one so uh stylized art style on this one uh we have uh a little bit more going on over here as well oh no i'm right back to where i started from so that is what you're getting here again this is a completely modular pack so uh, you can use the bits and bobs that you actually wish to use uh and ignore everything else and the final one this month's assets are all um basically props static meshes etc uh, the good news about that is you can get them across to other game edges no problem this one is uh, a stylized Chinese park environment. It's actually absolutely gigantic in that it's, uh, I think, 20 gigs is what this asset, asset pack actually came out to. I don't know why this one is so particular dark on this demo level. Let's open up one of the other demo levels. Get a kind of a better idea of what you are getting with this pack. Again, this one is gigantic at the form of about 20 gigs in size. So uh, you are getting a lot of high detailed meshes here. And here we go. So we can see a bit of an example it's not water that I'd want to swim in. Once again, it's very dark. It's one of those things when you move between uh, various different versions of Unreal Engine, there's always uh, the post-processing volume. This guy right here. Oh, where is it? All right. Well, anyways, generally it turns down to slightly different uh, settings between the rendered versions. This is why this one, I think, is going to end up looking so dark overall. Uh, the exposure levels tweak between the different versions. But again, this is one more of the demo levels for it. And let's look one last demo level. <laughs> and now we're uh, we're almost too bright. We're a little bit over brightened in this particular demo. Uh, but you can see again how it's arranged. So if you need to create um, an Asian uh, feudal looking uh, village park environment, that is exactly what you are getting here. Again, completely different lighting in every one of these demos. Uh, but you get an idea of what you are dealing with here. So again, everything is highly modular, can be used in a mix and match environment. And we've got a couple of other Unreal Engine announcements today as well. And then I'll come back to the recap. First thing is head on over to the Epic Games Launcher and you'll notice we now have a samples tab. Uh, it's basically, they've just organized all their various different samples together uh, into one area. You can download them directly here. Nothing super uh, awesome or anything, just a way of reorganizing things. We also have the world's laziest integration of Fab. <laughs> if you go to the Fab tab, 
This literally just opens it up in a web browser, which is kind of sad. But eventually, Fab, I do believe, will be embedded within this window as opposed to just a link out. The last thing we're going to talk about here is part of 5.6. Uh, and specifically, the templates are now available. Now, this has actually been available for a little while. I just never actually talked about it in any uh, form of video, and they're actually not as obviously available as you might think. So I'll show you how you can go ahead and use these templates. All right, so here we go. So let's say we're going to go ahead and create a new game, like so. Go to the games category, and what you're going to find is under each one of these examples they have right now, so things like first-person and third-person shooter, you're actually going to find there are now variants available. So if you're creating a first-person shooter, you can do none, which is the original template, but you've also got an arena shooter or a survival horror game, and it sets it up accordingly. Same with third person. You now have variants here for combat, platforming, and side-scrolling. And then top-down, you have variants here for doing twin-stick shooter and strategy games. Uh, VR doesn't have any uh, vehicles, has time trial and off-road modes as well. And then AR doesn't have anything. So if you're looking, there are a ton new of new, like getting started templates for creating your games now available. This is a Unreal Engine 5.6 feature. It didn't ship at launch, I don't think, but it is now enabled. So you can see here, you can basically use the variants to create those different uh, getting started templates that are now available to you, which is nice. And now back to all the assets. Now, first off, we do have that new Unreal Engine bundle. I covered this on a Saturday. A lot of people aren't paying attention on Saturday. If you're interested, Lurtes Studios and Style Arts have a ton of content available. We looked at the uh, this one, Dark Medieval. That was the example I had running. But as you see here, you got a number of different environments, a couple of them stylized, most of them not quite stylized. Uh, and the key thing you're going to notice here from this bundle is that it shows as $99.99. It's not. Use the code S60 or SN60. It drops 60 bucks off that. Makes it $39.99. If you're wondering, they're all redeemed on Gum Road. You do not get fab keys uh, in this particular case. But still, if there is a single asset here, it makes pretty much everything else available for free. And then back to this month's free content. The first one we have is the stylized village environment. Uh, so a bit of details here. So three pre-assembled maps, a winter, a summer, and an autumn. Uh, you've got uh, six master materials with over 100 instants, 450 unique and modular assets, etc. Pretty straightforward. If you like the art style or if it works with your game, uh, pretty good pick up there. Uh, one thing you're going to notice, what you want to do is come on in here, add it to your cart and check out. It should show as free as of Tuesday at 10 a.m. You have two weeks to pick this up for free. You have a choice between personal and professional. This really doesn't matter. This only mattered if you were buying it yourself with your own cash. If you make less money, you can afford to buy a cheaper version, what it boils down to. But Epic Games are picking it up. So, hey. Might as well pick up the professional. Literally, it doesn't make a difference. So uh, I always just buy the professional if I have a choice. Uh, over here, then, we also have the traditional Chinese-style park. Again, uh, not the, the greatest naming convention going on here, but a modular set of assets for creating like a feudal Chinese-looking uh, environment, world environment. So again, two different licenses there. Uh, and then finally, we have the train pack. Now, this week, everything here, Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine, uh, and then this one here, the stylized one, is actually Unreal Engine and Unity. So if you're a Unity developer, you're going to want to pick this one up because if you buy it, then you come back in here, you can download it directly as a Unity asset package that you can import into Unity, no exporting required. However, if you do need to export, I do have full guides down below showing you the various different ways. The easiest way for if you're going Unreal to Godot is with the commercial Unreal to Godot plugin. Uh, but you can also get it out in a number of ways, including full levels via this export system to various different... Uh, file formats there, or individual assets can be exported as well. So full guides for how you can export this stuff out are available down below as well. So ladies and gentlemen, a bundle of bundles of bundles of Unreal Engine news. Uh, plus again, some uh, we got a little bit of a guest star Godot action here. Again, buy these. You should be picking these asset packs up regardless to what game engine you are using uh, because you can you can get them out. With a couple of hoops jump through, you can get these assets into other game edges looking very good, especially for static meshes. So one of those things you want to be aware of, plus of course the one uh, asset pack, the stylized one, is also available for Unity developers directly. So even if you are not an Unreal Engine user, I highly recommend first Tuesday or uh, every other Tuesday picking these things up. And if you're not already subscribed, do hit subscribe, do hit like, and I'll keep you up to date in the latest and greatest in the world of game development. All right, that's it. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.